Hello and welcome to another online tutorial and new product review from Spotlight Photographics. My name is Sean Dement and you can find all of these templates on photosolutionsmarket.com. Today we're going to be talking about the new Memory Make Collection Volume 7 set. This is a collection of 10 different designs and with these designs you will get both vertical and horizontal layouts. Uh, you can also buy these independently if you just want one design you can purchase them by themselves and you still get the vertical and horizontal per design that you purchase so let's get started we're going to go through all 10 designs here show you how they're laid out and show you how to change the colors because that is the most imp most asked question uh, that i get by customers is how do i change the colors so we're going to show you all 10 designs on this if you're looking at a template from a different collection, we do have other videos on our YouTube channel, Spotlight Photographics, that you can look at and see how to change other colors on other templates if they're not in the Volume 7 collection. All tutorial videos should be posted on each template's page, uh, description page, so that you can actually see uh, how that works. You may have to look at other designs in that tutorial because I am doing these as sets and not as individual tutorial videos for each individual template they're going to be in a set just like this so let's get started I'm gonna show you the vertical and horizontal layout of the first set and then we're gonna go through and I'm only gonna show you the verticals because the ch color changing properties are going to be the same on both vertical and horizontal so first we're gonna start with Armageddon that's the first one in this in the volume 7 collection and you can see this is the horizontal version and this is the vertical version okay so you're gonna get both in every single design that you see both the horizontal and a vertical layout you can see the other layout on the product description page for each uh, template so I'm just going to close this one for right now and we're going to go ahead and dive into how we change the colors on Armageddon now the first thing you want to notice on our memory mate templates is we do have a logo that's already plopped in here you can use that logo you can edit what it says you can change the color of that logo or you can remove that logo simply by turning it off or even deleting it that way you can put in your own logo for your tournament or your team or your league you can put it in right there but if they don't have one and you want to have something that looks better than just text then use this logo so on this first template I'm going to show you how that logo works if you haven't already seen that already in a previous video all we do is double click right here on the icon for the sports logo it is a smart object so what we're going to do is double click on that and it's going to open that smart object into a separate window now this is going to allow you to edit this logo and then once we've done editing it we will close this and it will send it back into the template so the reason we have it as a smart object is so that you can uh, edit it and keep it in the same dimensions that's why it's in this box right here so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the colors of this we go to the sports which is that text line right there and we go to our gradient overlay double click on gradient overlay and then just click on the gradient color that's going to bring up the color palette for the gradient at this point you can switch this over to a different color by just double clicking right here and bringing up the color picker for that center color and let's change this template over to green so we're going to pick a green color that we want and then we're going to copy this color code right here so that we use that on the rest of the template and just copy that we'll just say okay okay and okay now we'll come down here to the word Little League. This is a text layer, so all we have to do is change the text color just by clicking on the character palette, text color, and pasting our green in to the hex line. Hit OK, and you're done with that. Now we'll go down to our wings in the background, and we double click on gradient overlay on the wings. It's the same process as the word sports, clicking all the way into the color and pasting our green. And then say OK on the way out. Now if you don't want the wings, you can always turn those off because they are a separate layer. And then you're left with just the frame. So you can save it out like that, or you can turn those back on and save it out. You can also remove the shield if you'd like, which will leave it like that. But uh, the shield looks better with it on there. So We're going to go ahead and close this now. And when we close it, it's going to ask us if we'd like to save the changes to that uh, smart object. And we're going to say yes. This is going to start processing that smart image and changing it uh, for that template. Now, if you have multiple templates open like I have right now, it's not going to change all of them for that smart object. It's dedicated only to that template that you currently have opened it from. Even though it's going to be named the same on the others, it does not pull it from anywhere else. It actually pulls it into a temporary file for it to be used. So once this is done 
uh, processing, you'll see it automatically changes over onto that. Now to edit the text on that, it's simple text uh, changing, which you would do inside of the smart object, which I will show you again. I forgot to do that, I apologize. Uh, we'll just grab our text tool and we can just highlight the text and we can change it to say, uh, we'll say it's going to be soccer. Just type in the word soccer and there you go. And you can also change the all star to be anything you want it to be just by highlighting it. You can also change the word little league. Again, it's just a text layer and you can also change the number also just by highlighting it. And then when you're done with that, you can just once again, we save it again, just like we did previously. And it will automatically update back to our template. So we can now see that it is switched over to soccer. And now we're going to change the colors of the rest of the template. That's the only time you're going to see me change the colors on this logo, because it is the same all the way through uh, the entire Memory Mate series that we have. So let's go ahead and go down to the very beginning. I always start from the bottom and I'm always looking for three different things. I'm either looking for shapes, I'm either looking for color overlays, or I'm looking for adjustment layers. Uh, in the volume seven, most of this is going to be uh, color overlays is how you'll be changing this. So we look for all of our color overlays. If we see one, for example, right here, we'll double click on that color overlay. We see that it's black, we're going to leave it alone because we're only looking for colors. So. So we are looking for only color overlays that have the blue color that we're trying to change. So we're going to ignore all black. So this one we pulled up is blue. So we're going to change that over to green. And we still have that color code copied. So all we have to do is paste it in and it starts changing the color. Now it's not going to change everything every time you get one, but it's going to change that element that you're on. So we're just going to keep working our way up until we see what we like. That's white. We're going to leave it alone. Go to the next one. White. We leave it alone. Go up here. Black. We leave that alone. Now we could change those to different colors if we wanted to, but if we're wanting to use the template as it was originally designed and we just want to change it over to green, we're looking for all the blue. And we keep going up and we have one more color overlay. Now this is on the frames. Now you also can change the colors of the frames. If you notice a frame has a color overlay, you can double click on the color overlay of the frame and we could actually make these frames green instead of black. Add a little bit more pop to the template. So we'll go ahead and do that here. And now we have the frames are green. Now this right here is the color shape or the, the shape at the bottom. If you want to change that shape to a different color, we just double click on the shape icon here. And now we can change this over to green as well if we'd like. We also can change the stroke color that's on there by just double clicking on the word stroke and color on the stroke properties. And we can change that over to a different color as well. Changing the text on these templates is just as simple as changing it on the logo. We just simply highlight the name, type the one that we'd like, and we just move that to where we'd like it to fit. Now the other nice thing about these templates is, is everything is floating. These are not holes cut out. So if I turn off my photo mask and turn off my frame, you'll notice there's nothing behind that. Same thing with the bottom photo mask and the bottom frame. So now you could actually use this to have an extracted team and an extracted individual and make this a uh, extraction memory made if you'd like. You're not strictly uh, forced to use these frames. Now, the fact that the frames are floating also means that you could do other unique things with this. You could turn our, we'll turn our top frame back on and we could bring that frame, apologize, let me select both of them, and we could duplicate those down here and we could maybe rotate them. And let's copy another frame over this way. And maybe make that one a little larger. Put it right about there. So if you want to use this for something maybe not teams and individuals and just use it for individuals, you could actually make your own custom memory, um, custom composite just by converting those frames over, making them bigger, rotating them however you'd like it to be. So you can really use these templates to make something unique. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. That was the Armageddon template. And we're going to go a little bit quicker now. I'm not going to show you all those other things that are the same on every template, like the frames and everything. So we're just going to go through the color changes. So we're going to start at the bottom of this one. We have a gradient overlay at the bottom. 
and you can see this is where the color lives. It's right here on the right side because it's just a black to the color. Double click on the color, change this to red, hit OK, OK, and OK. That's as simple as that one is. The daybreak is very simple. It's only one color change. Obviously, you can do the same thing with the frames and the bottom, uh, bottom shape as we showed you before and the logo. All right, so we're going to move over to Defrost. Defrost has one color change, I believe, as well. We're going to go down to the bottom again, find the first color overlay, double click on it, see that this blue color, and now we can change that over to red. And that gives it that nice that frosted look that there's a, a light maybe shining from behind. Again, you can change the colors of the frames. These were already as white, but you could change those, change the text colors as well. All right, so we're going to move over to Gridlocked. That's the next one, and we're going to start again at the bottom. And we find our first color overlay. Double click on that. Change this one to, uh, we'll go green on this one again. And let's go ahead and we'll just use the same green we still had copied from before. Find our next color overlay, and that's it. So this is all you have to do on that. Now, the other nice thing about these templates I haven't mentioned yet is if you want to tone them down a little bit and remove some things, for example, if you didn't like these lines that are right here, you could always go to that layer and you could turn that layer off. You could also turn the other one off. You can take a lot of things off of this template and make it look as unique as you'd like it to be um, and move things around as well. So you can really make some things uh, unique with our templates. You can also move elements from one side to another, uh, meaning if you want to bring it from another template, bring it into this one, you can do that at the same time. Uh, so for example, I'm going to actually give you an example of that. We're going to move over here to the lights template. This, this template is very simple. It's simply just a set of lights on a black background, something very uh, just very basic. But you could bring these lights and you could drag and drop them over onto the gridlock template and have a set of lights back here in the background. So you can move things around between templates, create something unique for your customer. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close grid, grid locks because that one is good. Lights does not have a color change on it, so we're just going to leave that one alone for right now. And let's move over to Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker has a lot of different textures in this one, a lot of different layers that you can turn on and off, just like I showed you before, make it your own. Uh, but this one has a shape color as the background. This is not a color overlay, it is a shape color. So to change the shape color, we're just going to double click on the rectangle here. And then we just change the color of that rectangle, and it changes the color of the template completely. That's all you have to do, very quick. You do not have to spend a lot of time color changing this template. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close that one down. Go over to high tech. This one has a couple different photo layers on there, I believe. We're going to start at the bottom once again, and let's change this one over to um, a light blue color. So we're going to go over to our standard photo solutions blue, and let's go ahead and just copy that. And we're going to apply that all the way up the template just by clicking on color overlay all the way up, pasting our hex code. And there we go. That's all we have to do for the high tech poster or memory mate in that matter. All right, we're going to move over to Hot Streak now. This one we start at the bottom once again, always starting at the bottom. Double click on our color overlay that's on. We see that it's red. We'll change this over to that same blue that we used previously. And change that one over to blue as well. And we're good to go. Change that over to the blue color just like I showed you previously and you're all good. All right, we're going to switch over to old school. This is old school baseball. It does have baseball in the background. If you want to add your own different sport in there, all you have to do is just go to the baseball image that is in the background, turn that off, and now you can use that for any other sport. Just drag your other image in there, um, desaturate it so that it's not in color, <coughs> and it will look just like that other one that's back there. We just have a, a ball and glove in the background. This one does not have any color changing on it, other than the fact that you could change all of the frames and everything, um, but it is meant to look a little bit more like uh, an old image. So we're going to move over to the last template, which is Scratch. And Scratch, we're going to start at the bottom, and we find the first color overlay. We'll double click on that, choose our color red, and that's pretty much it. If you want to change these gray ones to a different color, so say for example this, this team was red and blue, you could change that other color to be their blue color. Maybe that navy. 
We'll go ahead and copy that navy color for the next one. And change it over there. So because everything's in layers on all of these templates, you can change uh, just certain spots of the template to be a certain color and maybe some other elements to be different colors. So if you have multiple color teams, you could do it this way. So the last thing that we're going to show you uh, is how to import your photos directly into the template. Um, and this is something that a lot of people ask me about is how do I do an image mask if it's not already set up. Um, with these, it's not already set up. So what we're going to do is simply, I've got two different images. I've got an individual and a team shot over here in a folder and off my screen. And I'm going to come over and select the first photo mask for the individual. So while this is actually selected on my mask, I'm going to drag and drop directly into Photoshop, not up here, but directly onto the canvas, and it's going to drop it right onto the canvas. Now, if you're on Photoshop 4 or below, CS4 or lower, this is not going to happen. What's going to happen is, even if you drag and drop it directly into your canvas, it's actually going to act like you dropped it up here and it's going to open into another window. At this point, all you would need to do is click, hold down, and drag and drop into the template. That way you can get it in the, into your actual template. In Photoshop CS5 and above, including the, the new uh, Creative Cloud, it will drop directly into the template. You will not have to drag from one window to another. So once we've dragged it into the template, all we have to do is do a free transform. We drag it into the template, size it into our frame, and we'll go ahead and apply that transformation. And then right over here on the palette, we're just going to right click in this area over here to the right of the name of the layer and say create clipping mask. And that's going to mask it directly down into the photo mask below. We're going to do the next team shot. We'll drag and drop it directly in just like I showed you previously. Frame that up. And apply that transformation. And then drop it into the frame below. Now you can also hold your Alt key, put it between the two layers, and click when the mouse icon changes. As you can see there, it changes over. Once you click here, it will mask it into the image below. And then all we'd have to do is change the colors, retype the team name for these guys, and they're ready to go to the printer. Uh, if you have any questions on anything that you've seen today, you can always email me by emailing uh, support at photosolutionsmarket.com. You can always reach me at the office Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at 904-398-4355. Again, my name is Sean DeMitt with Photo Solutions Market and Spotlight Photographics. Have a great day.